Nottingham, of course, I first thought about Robin Hood. Mm. I mean, going to the new museum was like that was also another point of starting because it's so big and so all my scale, the scales really growing of everything to try and take up a little bit more space in there. Also, I've been interested for a long time in medieval sculpture mm -hmm. in general. So the sort of arches and um, also the Robin Hood idea of taxing, I was really interested in. So um, money, and also it's an interesting time for money at the moment. So I thought, who's poor, who's rich, who's fighting uh, for the system and who's fighting against the system? And um, so that's why these sort of war dances started coming out of that as sort of not exactly the sheriff's men nor the state's men, but sort of just some people who were sort of almost reenacting um, some war. And, but they're not wearing really very British clothes. But I've been looking at the Bayer Tapestry, and the Bayer Tapestry's got a lot of interesting outfits <laughs> and postures. And they also, the Bayer Tapestry's got these very sort of elongated figures too, which reminded me a lot of Cuvine as well. Mm -hmm. Whether they're soldiers or people dressed as soldiers or dancing, like interpretive dancing, being soldiers. Yeah, yeah I, I don't really know myself and I don't think it matters too much either. Because yeah. it's, yeah, it's definitely a dance. I mean, they have no weapons. Yeah. I wanted some sort of everyday objects that medieval people might have. And I just like these quite awkward sculptures. And the motifs on them, where did they so come motifs? from? motifs? Just things that I thought were quite old fashioned, like a duck or a goose. It seems much more old fashioned than a chicken to me. And, um, and then you actually pointed out that there's a goose fair in Nottingham, so I don't know if I'd read in Wikipedia about the goose fair or not. And then the arches, of course, have a Nottingham theme, and also the Bayer Tapestry and a lot of arches. Mm -hmm. And then the ta those themes go again then onto the plate and the, and the bottle, the large vase bottle. And also you have a, um, with alcohol, you, there's another meaning of a tankard, which is get, getting drunk and tra the transformation of people when, when they drink. And I guess that can be an escapism, but also a transcendence or something like this too. To so something a bit spiritual. Yeah. Perhaps. Well, spiritual or just a, another way of looking at the world. And there's another reference, I suppose, if we're thinking about spirituality, to um, with the the site-specific elements that you're working with in the galleries. Mm -hmm. So the vinyl, um, the coloured yeah. um, skylights, in a way, references a kind of a stained glass effect. Yeah. Can you explain why, how that came about? When I first went to Basel, I was staying with Kate outside Basel in Baden Weiler, the little village, and they have a very beautiful modernist church. And in New Zealand, we have a lot of really beautiful modernist churches, and I started just looking and, at books and, and got, visiting as many as I could. There's a big one. Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. And I went and saw that one, and also a couple in Barcelona. I can't remember if you call it this crazy, colourful... Sagrada Familia. Yeah, yeah. The Gaudi. Yeah. And so... And I love them as spaces, but I'm not at all religious. Kind of interesting to me, like, these, the colour and light and coloured light having these readings so yeah but I guess it's just the space of churches that I really like and how churches are museums I guess you, you see a lot of art in churches and I always find it interesting how you can see Jesus in so many different ways in churches like Jesus is a mosaic, Jesus is a child Jesus is a man, Jesus at death I find that super weird and you always know it's Jesus, even though the sculpting of it can be completely different. I find that very strange. And so churches are sort of museums of Jesus and, 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 and artworks of Jesus as well. And you probably have a similar sort of contemplative time in these places. Because people definitely need it, don't they?